Creditors have received instructions from Terraform Labs Limited regarding how to file claims for cryptocurrency-related losses in their Chapter 11 bankruptcy cases. To be eligible to vote on the proposed Chapter 11 plan, creditors must submit their preliminary crypto loss proof of claim forms by August 21, 2024. All individuals and organizations who may have claims for cryptocurrency loss against Terraform Labs are required to submit their preliminary proof of claim forms by August 21, 2024. For the creditors to be able to cast their votes for the proposed Chapter 11 plan, they must submit this submission. All interested parties are to be able to participate in the restructuring plan and, if applicable, receive distributions from the pool of claims for cryptocurrency losses through the claims process. On January 21st and July 1st, Terraform Labs Limited and Terraform Labs voluntarily filed for their Chapter 11 cases. The notice also emphasizes how important it is to adhere to the precise guidelines when submitting claims, as failure to do so may bar creditors from participating in the plan's voting. To cast a vote on the plan, each creditor who lost money in transactions with the debtors prior to the petition dates must submit a claim. The term claim refers to a broad range of claims, including those for payment, whether disputed or not, liquidated or not, actual or potential, and whether or not they have become due. In addition, it has equitable remedies that result in payment rights. Individuals, partnerships, corporations, joint ventures, trusts, and government entities are among the entities that must file. The filing of proofs of claim is subject to several exceptions, including claims already filed in a form substantially similar to the instant form, claims already approved by a court order, claims paid by the debtors, claims between Terraform Labs entities, and claims from those choosing not to exercise their voting rights on the plan. The notification goes into great detail about how to file the preliminary crypto loss proof of claim forms. The claims must be submitted under pain of perjury, in English, and stated in U.S. dollars as of the petition date. The claims may be mailed to Epic Corporate Restructuring, LLC, or submitted via the company's website. Supporting paperwork, however, is not required at this informational stage. If the proposed Chapter 11 plan is verified, it might be asked later. Although electronic contributions are preferred, paper submissions sent by overnight, hand delivery, or first-class mail are still accepted. If a claim is sent via email, telecopy, or fax, apart from the approved electronic channels, it will not be accepted. The holder will not be considered a creditor for the purpose of voting on the debtor's Chapter 11 plan if the preliminary crypto loss proof of claim is not filed. Previously, August 9th was designated as the general bar date by Terraform Labs for submitting claims. Terra is an open-source blockchain payment platform for an algorithmic stablecoin, which are cryptocurrency that automatically track the price of currencies or other assets. The Terra blockchain enables users to instantly spend, save, trade, or exchange Terra stablecoins. The Terra protocol creates stablecoins which are designed to consistently track the price of a fiat currency, a government-backed currency such as the US dollar or euro. It consists of two cryptocurrency tokens which include Terra and Luna. Terra are stable coins that track the price of fiat currencies and are named after them. For instance, the base Terra stablecoin tracks the price of the International Monetary Fund's special drawing rights and is named Terra SDR or SDT. Other Terra stablecoin denominations include Terra USD UST, which tracks the US dollar, and Terra KRW KRT which tracks the South Korean one. Users mint new Terra by burning Luna. Luna, on the other side, is used for governance and mining. Luna is the Terra protocol staking token, which absorbs the price volatility of Terra stablecoins. Users stake Luna to Terra blockchain miners, called validators, who record and verify transactions on the blockchain and receive rewards from transaction fees as compensation. As Terra's usage grows, Luna's worth increases as well. Primary Features of Terra Asterisk Terra aims to boost efficiency for payment service providers and value for customers in the rapidly developing Asian e-commerce sector. Asterisk Terra uses Cosmos blockchain technology to challenge existing retail payment apps. Asterisk Terra, being a complete end-to-end -end payment solution, avoids the present fragmented payment infrastructure. Asterisk using Terra's technology may save payment service providers hundreds of millions of dollars annually. Asterisk the Terra crypto network employs its native Luna currency as a utility and governance token to manage the collateralizing processes that back and safeguard the price stability of Terra's stablecoins. Pros and cons of Terra. Pros. 
Asterisk the Terra ecosystem also includes a blockchain agnostic development platform that lets software developers construct their own protocols and dApps on top of Terra. Asterisk the Terra protocol supports several currency-linked stablecoins. Asterisk Terra Luna tokens help stabilize its stablecoin. It encourages trade between Luna and stablecoins to boost or decrease supply. Asterisk Terra introduced Anchor, a savings and lending system. This protocol lets users deposit and earn interest on stablecoins. Cons. Asterisk Terra is still lagging behind major cryptocurrency initiatives like Ethereum. Asterisk most Terra-related cryptocurrency transactions originate in Korea, where its creators reside. It is too early to tell if Terra-related currencies will catch on elsewhere. Asterisk Terra is less decentralized than Ethereum. This may turn off some blockchain purists. In detail, Terra is a payment system that resides and is built upon a blockchain. It was developed by South Korea-based Terraform Labs, which was founded in 2018 by Du Quan and Daniel Shin. Du Quan was formerly employed by Microsoft and Apple and founded a startup, Anify, which offered decentralized wireless mesh networking solutions. Shin is the founder and CEO of Asian payment technology company Chai, a Terra partner, and was co-founder of Korean e-commerce firm Tmon, also known as Ticket Monster. In its quest to become a leading e-commerce stablecoin payment and decentralized finance, DeFi service provider, Terra has a growing ecosystem in the crypto space with 114 projects across DeFi, Web 3.0, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Some of these projects include Asterisk Anchor Protocol, a fixed yield platform with borrowing yields and frictionless access. Asterisk Chai, a payments app with over 2 million users in South Korea. Asterisk Loterra, a decentralized lottery platform built on the Terra blockchain. Asterisk Mirror Protocol, allows for the creation of fungible assets or synthetics that track real-world asset prices. Asterisk Talus Protocol, a platform where artists can sell their creations and offer services. Asterisk Vega Protocol, a platform for minting and trading derivatives. Because the primary value of stablecoins is derived from the stability of the price peg, theoretically bypassing the volatility typical of cryptocurrencies, the Terra Protocol attempts to maintain the price of the Terra stablecoin by ensuring that the supply and demand for it are always balanced by employing arbitrage. Luna is the variable counterweight to the Terra stablecoin and absorbs its volatility. To understand how Terra works, Envision the entire Terra economy to consist of a Terra pool and a Luna pool, which are used to adjust the price via incentives for network participants. Despite the crash that happened last year, the developers are still working tirelessly underneath the project to ensure everything stays good. A few weeks ago, a news article arrived on CoinGape saying the Terra Luna Classic developers submitted a key proposal to introduce and boost liquid staking derivatives. According to the proposal, Developers seek to change the allowed interchain account host messages to bring Quicksilver support, an interchain liquid staking protocol for the Cosmos ecosystem. This allows the Quicksilver chain to transparently create and control accounts on the Terra Luna Classic chain and execute allowed messages. It will also allow interchain staking on any validators, as well as maximize liquidity and capital efficiency by improving network security and decentralization. Moreover, it removes the unbonding period wait requirement before a position holder is able to sell his staked assets. Seeing this, you should know that the Terra Luna developers are still working on the betterment of the project. This is to tell you that no hope is lost with Terra Luna yet. I believe everything will be fine soon. I also believe you can be rich off Terra Luna's investment. But it all depends on how much you are investing in Terra Luna Classic, how much you expect from the market, and how long you are willing to hold for. LUNC is the native token of Terra Luna. This will be the end of the video. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and invest wisely. Thanks.